Imagine you are uh, minding your own business, watching a video of two nerds talking about movies, and they decide to talk about Joel Schumacher movies. Um, <laughs> and at one point, one of them mentions an oily sax guy in Lost Boys. And if you know this movie, you know exactly who they're talking about. Um, Tim Capello. Uh, he, uh, he's got like super muscles in the scene and these like skin tight, what look like lilac covered uh, pants and like chains and like a cod piece of looking something or other. And the song, I still believe, comes on, right? And you're like, oh my god. Because when you, if you, the sound is not on, he looks he looks a little weird, like, at first. It's like, what is going on here? Uh, but then, you're kind of getting into the song. And it's like, yeah, I'll buy this. You know, it's a pretty good song in the movie. Especially in the movie, it's really neat. Um, subsequently, for the last... Four days, three days, or whenever it is that it aired, that is the only song I have had in my head. It's been, it's been nothing but I still believe. So I thought I would um, let you know that I actually found a video of him from 2019 doing his song, uh, and he was still in good voice. It was a really tiny venue, um, so. You know, the quality was kind of eh, but he still was ripped. That guy was amazing looking for like help. Not that I want to bring up your age, girl, but he was, he was like kind of probably pushing. I don't even want to, I don't even want to, I don't, I won't guess. I won't guess. But um, even I, who am of an age, uh, he's even older than I am. <laughs> So, but he looked great, uh, and he was there doing his saxophone, and sort of near the end of the stint, he actually went into like a, like his experience of uh, filming uh, the scene, and he point blank mentions uh, Jamie Gertz's character, Star, and oh my god, I cannot tell you how much I hated the way she talked in that movie when I was like, when I first saw it, I was like, what the... Because I remember her from Square Pegs. Square Pegs, Square Pegs, Square, Square Pegs. One size does not fit all. So if you remember that show too, that's the Jamie Gertz that we're talking about. So that was my only exposure to her, was her her being her, um, you know, very uptight, uh, preppy person. Uh, and in this movie, she was total like whoop, 180 from that. And yeah, she had the whole like, Surfside peasant thing going on and She I just I could not I'm like girl. You're not that cool. You know, no, 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 so So when I was seeing her like rocking out to the whatever I'm like, oh my god, this hurts so much just looking at it, but um, But it, it really fit her character, you know, so that was that was fine but he totally mentioned that. And the funniest thing was every time me and my brother, not every time, but like when my brothers and I are talking about this film or watching this film, it's like that comes to that part when she's like, oh, and I'm like, <laughs> but he mentioned it. He even had a name for it, the clap and thrust. So it was like, <laughs> oh my God. So, so that, so that's been my last few days is, uh, it's really hot outside, so I didn't. I couldn't have my window open, which is why the light looks really like, like it's the the other light. It really like I don't like it. Um, I like the natural light. It's pretty cool, but it's just too hot. So like whew, the windows closed and the air went on. Um, thank goodness. Uh, so yeah, that is. I just wanted to share that with you. I'm probably going to leave um, the links to the uh, video I found of him more recently and then of course uh, I will want to put in the video for the uh, official Lost Boys version of that song 
uh, it has a whole bunch of really cool images from the film. And if you've never seen this film, if you're like a toddler or, um, you know, a young and a young geek or something, and like really like kind of like good horror movies that have a teen presence, um, but don't talk down to you guys and doesn't take place in high school, then this movie was like, this movie was super cool um, because it came out when I was a teenager. So it was like, it felt, it felt very, it felt very um, like outside of everything, like all these outsiders and like the, even the entrance, uh, the first song is like, people are strange when you're a stranger. They used to, you know that song? Um, it, the one in the movie was by Echo and the Bunny Men. Echo and the Bunny Men, if you're from, LA and no K-Rock. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was it was all about people on the outside um, who didn't quite fit in. And it was this family had just moved to a, a mother and her two sons, went to go live with her dad. Um, <clears throat> and the shenanigans they got into, not school, not romancy junk, um, just a good, a good horror. Well, like, I guess I'll call it horror. It's a horror movie. It's about vampires. Spoiler alert! <laughs> it's about vampires. Um, but it was, it was a really good film, and it has, like, lots of replay value. So I totally, I totally recommend that film, J Jill Schumacher. That's the whole... The whole reason why this started was because two two big nerds are talking about Joel Schumacher films. Um, maybe I'll leave, I don't know if I can leave a link to somebody else's video, but yeah, it was um, just to randomly plug some some cool content that I've been uh, kind of paying attention to. Um, Quarterback Garrett's sh channel he has a segment that he called "Let's Talk." Uh, so it was like a super cash uh, convo between um, him and Just Some Guy. Whew. I love Just Some Guy. <laughs> um, yeah, so they were talking about it. So yeah, Joel Schumacher's, um, this, this film particularly Lost Boys, it was really, um, I thought it, I thought it handled my God. Michael's transformation really well into a uh, vampire um, and the effects that it had on him and his little brother, um, <laughs> Edgar and Alan Poe. I also started thinking about a lot uh, after after the, the little mm, music worm of the I Still Believe song kind of was trickling out. Then I started thinking about um, Edgar and Alan fighting the good fight. Uh, for truth, justice, and the American way. So they were fun. It, it just felt all around a fun movie uh, without being, I mean, it was like, I don't want to say schlocky, but it, it had a whole bunch of elements from comedy, uh, horror, gore. It was probably like the most goriest film I had seen because they go through and like, they take off some dude's brain pan and just like start like ah gnawing on the dude. Uh, cool costumes, uh, a good twist at the end. Um, yeah, so uh, if, if you've never seen it, give it a give it a whirl, um, or put it on the background while you're doing other stuff. But uh, yeah, so I'm hoping that earworm gets out of my head completely soon. Thanks a lot, guys. But yeah, I was. I was not a growly bunny for once. Urgh. So it was neat, but well, I guess it was a little because it was like, oh my god, why can't I? Seriously, all day long, <laughs> the only thing that was like in my mind was, I still believe. So now I'm like, okay, get it out of my head. So perhaps this video will exercise it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, go check out the video uh, for the um, for the song itself. And, uh, and maybe the Lost Boys even, if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, it's a fun time. It's a fun time. And it doesn't have any weird, like, 
we won't get into pew, pew, political thingies um but yeah it's a good show a uh, film it's a good film okay have a great day